Welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Warning, the following advertisement is bullcrap. Welcome to beautiful Detroit, Michigan. Detroit is on a comeback. I just want you to come with me as I show you the beautiful comeback Detroit, Michigan is on. You can go through the city very easily and gracefully by riding our city transit system that is light years in the future on our safe, clean buses. You can go through the whole city and see all the sights, the restaurants, the casinos, safely and quickly, as long as you're downtown. That's right. Detroit is on the comeback. We coming back to beat your ass on the bus. That's what we coming back to do. We got trouble in paradise. Detroit's comeback has been stalled again. But this is not nothing new. It's, it's something about the bus and the smell of urine and people overdosing on drugs that make people fight on these buses. As you see in the videotape right here, the man refused to put on a mask and the bus driver said, well, I'm not moving the bus. So the passenger went up to argue with the bus driver and the bus driver decided we're going to start fighting right now. I'm not going to wait for you to hit me in the head because we got a problem with these Detroit buses. This problem has been going on for years. Detroit has a lot of sick people we have a lot of we're impoverished everybody that gets on this bus out of 10 people four of them got a problem they'll have a mental illness they'll be drunk they're gangsters and thugs or they'll be homeless we got a group of homeless people that go get on these buses and ride the bus to a run out of gas in the winter time, especially. Then we got gangsters and thugs. They get on the bus, want to rob somebody on the bus. Drunks get on the bus. You got to argue with a drunk. Tell him to throw his drink out. You know I ain't throwing my drink out. We'll just fight. Fight right now. Put your dukes up. Our fearless leader, Mayor Mike Duggan, he took the side of the man who got beat up. He said the bus drivers are not allowed to hit passengers. You have to wait till the passenger hits you first after he cuts you out. Then you can fight back if you are not incapacitated. So the mayor threw the bus driver under the bus. And like I said, this is nothing new. This has been going on for years. We had the police riding on the bus for a short time. They, they quit and went back to their regular jobs giving out traffic tickets because the court was losing money. Idiots on top of stupid on top of idiots. So, once again, the bus drivers had to go on a strike. They said, you got to do something. You got to fix this. This COVID, this started before COVID. So, they supposed to have a partition up so nobody can breathe and put COVID on you. They haven't did that yet. They haven't did anything yet. So, we're going to see what's going to happen. But as of now, October the 1st, for about three days, there's been no bus service, no riding the bus. You better go get you a damn skateboard if you come to Detroit. 
And your boss say, why you ain't making the work today? You say, well, I'm, I'll be there when the bus start back running. You dummy, you idiot. All right, everybody go get your skateboard. Get your ass to work.